Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today I'm looking at the 2019 AP Physics Free Response questions. Now note, this one doesn't have the solutions out yet. Those will come out in a couple of uh, months, but uh, these will be the solutions that I have. They just released the questions here. So let's take a look at this one. So I haven't looked at these yet. Identical blocks one and two are placed on a horizontal surface at points A and E respectively as shown. The surface is frictionless except for the region between points C and D where the surface is rough. Beginning at time TA, block 1 is pushed with a constant horizontal force from point A to B by mechanical plunger. Upon reaching point B, block 1 loses contact with the plunger and continues moving to the right along with the horizontal surface towards block 2. Block 1 collides and sticks to block 2 at point E, after which the two block system continues moving across the surface, eventually passing point F. Okay, so we're pushing this along, it's accelerating. On the axis below, sketch the speed of the center of mass of the two block system as a function of time from TA until the block passes point F at times uh, TF. The times at which the block one reaches points A through F are indicated. Um, okay, this is. So uh, if I consider this whole system together as like two masses, the net force on this system is just the force from the plunger. I'll call it FP. So, um, uh, because, so from A to C, it's at constant acceleration. So constant acceleration just simply means that the center of mass is going to be moving to the right at a constant rate. So let's say it's like this. So uh, a constant increase in velocity is a constant acceleration. Okay, so it looks something like that. Then at point C, it starts hitting some friction. So then it's going to like slow down a little bit because I, the surface is rough. So the net force is there's going to be a little bit of friction acting here. So between C and D, there's going to be a net force of F, F net will be FP minus the force of friction. Now again, the, the plunger force is still constant, and frictional force, kinetic friction in this case, would be just mu times F normal force. Both of these would be constant. So again, the net force would still be constant. It would just be smaller than it was before, and so then it would kind of have a shallower slope. That's what a smaller, smaller force, smaller acceleration. And they, uh, these ought to be straight lines because it's constant acceleration. And then from D to E, it continues along at the same slope as it did before because now we're no longer... Oh, actually, where does it lose contact with... Um, mechanical plunger it loses... Con oh, point B, it loses contact with the plunger. Okay, sorry, I, I missed... So that this, the, all of this I just did was wrong because it lost contact... Um, at point B. So it was constant until point B. Then from B to C, because it lost contact with the plunger, the net force is zero, so the acceleration would be zero. Then it would start to decelerate. So let me make, let me, let me use a bigger scale. Uh, so it actually is more like this, and then this. And then the force of friction is going to cause it to slow down. But it didn't slow it down all the way enough. But it did, like, say it went like this. Slowed it down. And then from D to E, uh, the net force is zero still. Now, even though these th two things collide at this point, this is the tricky part. Even though they collide, the, the net forces in there are internal to the system. So that, that's not an outside force on the system. Because if you consider the two blocks together, they are one system moving together. And any interactions internal are not part of the whole system. So there's no outside force on the system still. So it still just moves at the same velocity here. So that's a general idea of what the sketch would look like. Okay. Now the plunger is returned to its original position and both blocks are removed. A uniform solid sphere is placed at point A as shown. The sphere is pushed by the plunger from point A to B with a constant horizontal force that is directed toward the sphere's center of mass. The sphere loses contact with the plunger point B and continues moving across a horizontal surface towards point E. In which intervals, if any, does the sphere's angular momentum about its center of mass change? Um, so what can cause a change in angular momentum? Change in angular momentum has to be an impulse due to a torque. So because this is targeted at the center of mass, if I look at the free body diagram here, I just have this force from the plunger. This would not cause a torque because it's acting at the center point of rotation. So at this point, it would just simply slide along here and not rotate. But once we get to this point in the friction area, 
we'll have the plunger force, but then we'll also have, sorry, the, plen the plunder force is, plunger force is gone at this point, but we will have force of friction opposing the motion. And this will, if I zoom in, this frictional force will cause a, a torque, and that's when this thing will begin to start to rotate. So the angular moment rotation is when the is the spinning is the angular momentum. So from C to D is when the angular momentum changes. Now after this point, it's just going to continue rolling along at the constant speed. So its angular momentum is not going to change after this point. So the only time the torque is applied is between C and D, and that's it. And that concludes the um, uh, the first question. So hope you found that helpful. Let me know how you did in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.